Hello. If you're installing from a disk, the last part of the product code should be W10L. If you're installing from a download link, the last part of the address should be W10Zip. This software installs on Windows 10, Home or Professional, on 32 or 64-bit editions, and from any release date. It's also backwards compatible, so will work fine on Windows 7 or 8. And here we're using the most common workplace choice, Windows 10 Professional 64-bit. Before installing, it is essential that you reboot your computer and sign back on as the local administrator or the C drive. This sign-on might be reserved by your IT guys and could be different to one that gives you full access to the computer. To get going, simply open the software location, either the downloads folder or the disk, then click on Setup. The time taken for loading will depend on your computer, but usually it's only a few minutes from start to finish, which we sped up here to about 30 seconds. You'll notice that we accepted the license conditions at the beginning and also clicked on Next a few times for the normal options. After all the files and components are fully loaded, the process stops and waits for you to click on Finish. You are then invited to reboot the computer to provide a clean start for the second stage. After the restart, click on the task line icon to continue. Now we configure the cable connection. Insert the USB adapter into a spare USB port on the computer and then wait for around 30 seconds to give Windows time to recognize the presence of a new device before clicking OK. Click on Auto Detect followed by OK to allow the adapter's settings to be found. And then confirm this step by clicking on Yes to save the discovered details. All that's left to do now is to enter the serial number to prove the software is genuine. For physical products, the serial number is printed on the external packaging and on the back of the disk sleeve. For download products, it is provided on the link documentation. Once entered, just click on Start and you will be taken to the main menu. That's it. All done. Your system is good to go. In the second part of this video, we demonstrate how to add new capsules into the system and how to set it up for a particular task, in this example, protecting vaccines. Snap the new capsule onto the connection cable and open up the software by clicking on the desktop icon. Now click on check and the software automatically detects the new capsule. Click OK and we arrive at the one-time activation screen. We need to enter an activation code to register the capsule and the label for the capsule identification. The activation code is printed on the capsule bag and is entered here. The label can be whatever you like, such as the name of the location where the capsule is going. Click on Add New Capsule to complete activation. Click OK to acknowledge success and you are back at the main menu. This activated capsule is now part of the system and ready to carry out whatever temperature monitoring jobs you want it to do. It just needs to be told what the job is by sending it a program. A list of built-in programs that can be edited in the tools section is displayed by clicking on the drop-down arrow. The first program on the list medicine store is for monitoring vaccines at 60 minute intervals with 2 degrees and 8 degrees as acceptable limits. So in this case we can just leave it on number 1 and click on program. There's a warning message to prevent accidental programming. Click yes to continue followed by the program being sent and then a recommendation to check it afterwards. The check button provides a useful status check on any capsule at any time without affecting what it's doing. The readback we see immediately after programming shows 
the temperature settings of 2 degrees and 8 degrees, that there have been no readings yet at 60 minute intervals, and the current status is starting in less than a minute. If we wait to let that short time pass, then refresh the screen, the status will have updated to running data logging, and there's now a single reading in the actions counter. So everything is confirmed as expected, and the capsule is ready to place in the fridge. That's everything done. So close the software down until you want to download the results later. When you want to see the results, simply fit the capsule back into the cable, open the software and click on download. This copies all the data from the capsule to an entry in the database that can be viewed now or at any time in the future. To report on all the current readings from the capsule, just click on process but often it's better to pre-select a shorter date or time range to limit the reports to, say, where you left off last time. There are lots of detailed reports to choose from, but for a quick overview, click on Trace Chart for a graph showing the temperature's reading as a green trace. That, in this case, should always be between the blue 2 degree line and the red 8 degree line. That's it, all done. Thank you for watching.